Previously on The Real World. Did Montana go? No, her boyfriend's here. Which one? Oh, hey, which one? son of a bitch. Oh. The one that matters. <laughs> Your boyfriend lives in Ireland, right? He lives in London right now. It's been seven months since I've seen him. I mean, that's a long time. Oh. I'm a little antsy here. This is the true story. Whatever. Of seven strangers. Pick to live in a house. <laughs> Volunteer sometime. I need help. Have the lives taped. To find out what happens when people stop being polite. Montana. Start getting real. The real world. Boston. Hello? John, can you hear me? We almost had it right there. You guys can't hear the guy. We have him, but... I wonder if this is set up right. The theme CME software is pretty cool. When we're gonna be talking to people, we're gonna be able to see them. All I can see is side head, and it's blinding me. Oh. <laughs> hey, there's a close up of that shiny thing. <laughs> Messy is my name. Messy is my name. Messy as you wanna be. Volunteers, you're scheduled to work eight hours on Tuesday and Wednesday. The other thing I wanna talk about is computers. I wanna hook up. Another computer with one of these puppies. Okay? Another camera? Yeah. Another thing of software. I want you to create pen pals with this agency here and another after school program that I'm gonna send you to and get them hooked up so we could talk to them. Ah, uh, okay. Gabish? Yeah. Well, right. do you know which program? Yeah, I do. The school age program is gonna be in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And that's where you guys are gonna head. <laughs> I guess I just kind of had my, my hopes on, like, you know, going overseas or something. Well, we are good. It is, I mean, overseas, but you can bet no, that I mean, we were like, going to go to you know, Greece, know, oh, the British Isles or something. The British Isles. You just wanted to go see Walter. I'm so excited. Puerto Rico. I was kind of upset with her that she was so bummed about going to Puerto Rico. I'm not complaining. I'm just kind of disappointed, you know? I'm just like, mm. How ungrateful. She should just go and have a good time. Yeah. Your name? Oh, How old are you? Favorite color? Yeah. Puerto Rico's a little island in the Caribbean. It's south of Florida. That's where we took all your pictures. We're going to bring them down to Puerto Rico. We're going to swap. And you guys are going to have a pen pal program. When you pick your pen pal, you'll be able to talk to them on the computer and see what they're saying to you right there and then. Maybe the people who don't speak Spanish can learn some Spanish. Maybe you guys can help them with their English. That's what this is all about, learning. Thanks. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. You guys just made my dreams come true. Warm weather. I mean, I'm expecting to get a damn good tan while I'm there. Beautiful women. Hopefully no arguments. And cheap rum. And hey, if we can catch a good cockfight, then all the better. And to the left, you have the Capitol building of Puerto Rico. Oh, look at the rainbow. Wow. Oh, my God. That is San Cristobal. That is the biggest fortification oh made God. by the Spaniards in the Western Hemisphere. That's awesome. Gotta take a bunch of our man. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. Bye, Gonzalo. Bye, Gonzalo. We're not gonna see you anymore. Oh, this is beautiful. The place where we were staying had just such an ambiance about it. It's like what I would imagine Salvador Dali's little cottage in the woods would be like. There's so much artwork and so much soul in that place. There are ghosts here. <laughs> no, don't, don't tell, tell me that. that. Oh, of course. All right. Party ghosts. Okay, good. Party okay. ghosts. Anybody really into art?
are. I am. We make everything, the paintings, the sculptures, the framing, we do everything. Down there, there's more bar. You can go bar hopping and take a left. Uh, you'll see. You'll see the crowd. Bars are that way. Um, Anywhere I can get my this, groove on. Like you wanna boogie or whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> down there. The first night in Puerto Rico, we all went out together. And it was the first time the whole group had been outside the setting of the firehouse. <laughs> And this was a situation where we all had to interact together, and I think that that was really beneficial for our whole group to get to know one another and really accept one another for who they are. Wherever the love is! Oh, it's such a beautiful night. Yeah, look at the stars. My shoe! <laughs> You have San Juan Marina, and then you have the Bay of San Juan over there in the distance, to your right. This is the city dump, our biggest artificial mountain we have here. Uh-oh, I didn't get that one. He wants to know what your name is. Oh. Camila. Yeah. Jason. We had to inform the children who we were and what we were here to do, which was to set up the pen pal program with the children in Boston. This is going to be so hard. What? You don't speak Spanish? Do you speak English? None whatsoever. The only two people in our group that speak Spanish are Camila and Elka. Bueno, entonces en ese que vamos a empezar a tomar té las cosas. It was pretty darn frustrating for me. All we did was smile at each other and try to use sign language. Look on the back of the camera and that output that we don't have anything to go into. What's it's it called? That's video. That was on the computer trying to get the CUC Me program working. But uh, for some reason, something was wrong. We don't have the output jack. I thought there was a cord. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Come on, come on. Children in Puerto Rico were angels compared to the children in Boston. Oh. They couldn't pull up our visuals, so they didn't know it was us. Why couldn't they pull up our visual? I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. Hello, hello, hello. Testing one, two. Boston boys. That's my boys. That's them. Yeah, there's Anthony right here on the screen. Hi. Yeah, totally. Look at that. Wow. Say hi to the kids. Mm -hmm. I think the kids really were excited about communicating with the children in Boston, but we need to think of a creative way to keep this going. Bye-bye. Even though I couldn't talk to them, the kids were very, very sweet, and they were very affectionate, and that was just so comforting. I had a very good time there. I couldn't. Nothing could ever replace that experience. Look at the rain. Oh, oh my God. God. It's raining so hard. I love the rain, man. Get over here. I can't believe you're calling London from Puerto Rico. Shut up. Elka, honey, we're going out on a date in 15 minutes. Just give me five minutes. You need to get ready. You need to go out tonight? Let's just hit the canteen as well. Yeah. Get off the phone with your boyfriend so you can go out on the date. Come on. And I are going out with this guy here. The biggest thing is you can't even talk to him because they can't understand you. <laughs> they just go like this. You and me? See? See? So we go down that street? Go left? I don't know No one can understand us. We can't understand nobody. So what now, brother? Who have I picked up now? <laughs> this 
fine young gentleman offered to show us around the city, and far be it for me to deny him the right of showing me around. Of course, Elka is coming to make sure that nothing bad should happen to me. Let's go and stop bugging me. I'm on my way. Let's I'm on go. my way down the stairs. God, sometimes you have the biggest attitude. Sometimes you have the biggest attitude. You're shut spoiled. Up. I am not spoiled. You are. I am not. You are. I am not. So what? Maybe I am. Well, San Juan is pretty much turned off till about 10, 11 o'clock at night. Elka and I started talking to Rafael at the hotel when he was bringing around hors d'oeuvres and he was saying, you know, let me show you around old San Juan, I live around here, and we were like, okay. That's a beautiful cemetery, you have to go down there. Can we go down there now? It's the safest place in the world Let's to go. be. Let's go, I love cemeteries. I guess you could say it was a date, but I mean, Elka was there as my chaperone. Well, here are all the great characters of Puerto Rican history, most of them are buried right here. Is there a way we can get in? Uh, I'm not in for the jumping over the wall thing. Oh, man. Come on. It was kind of eerie walking into the cemetery. Now, a cemetery has a little more significance to me than it did before, you know, since my mother passed away. Look at this. So that's what happens to you when you die. You turn into a plastic bag. Finally, our questions are answered. Somebody's going to go in there pretty soon. That's right. So that was very bizarre. Are you kidding me? I want to get out of here ASAP, man. <laughs> want to give us a little poetry, man? Go ahead and free verse, man. I want to check you out, man. I'll be first. I'll match you. Go ahead. Love sucks. Love sucks because one day I was walking down the street. I met this beautiful woman. She said, hey, how's it going? I said, pretty good. We fell in love. She broke my heart, and I hate her to this day. Love sucks. Men or dogs side. Go from there. She said, men or dogs. Hey, say them dogs. Yes, men say them better than they go on, dog. Yes, men say them off they run. When they may pull up, not a dreadlock, no dreadlock. One ball head, say they may not a not a dread. Number one, top a not say ya. Hear what they may say, say they may one. Brother side, say me, one smack your sit, smack a left, smack a right, said a black, said a white, said a no for a dollar cup at me, out of sight, sing! Wow. Yeah. you never done that before. Well, ain't nobody into dance hall, man, I can't... I'm into that. I'm I'll into bust a little inside. something. I'm into hearing Sai say something like that. During the British siege of 1797, the women of the city celebrated a prayer to commemorate Santa Ursula and the 11,000 virgins. 11,000 virgins? My gosh! Let me touch the bishop. <laughs> oh my god! Broke the shaft. Oh. This is so sacrilege for poor Elka. Yes, so. Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. You ever stroked a virgin, Elka? You are so putrid. It was so nice of him to show us a town. But once Montana and him started talking about underwater archaeology, I knew then that I was going to soon become the third wheel. She's not waiting on a savior to come. How many underwater archaeologists do you meet that have taken a whole class on the Uluburu? The only way to get your mind off of a man is with another man. Um, do you want to see me before you go? Well, do you know where I am? Right. You but do you want to see me before you go? Yeah, give a call. Okay. Cool. It was a fun night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Have a good, good night. Thanks a lot. Raphael was a great diversion. Considering it was just somebody I'd met in a hotel, then we hit it off quite well. Hey, why don't we just drink beer? Because I'm hungry. I want to put some food in my belly. My dad said something to me like... once. My dad said, when you travel, you need to know how to sit back, your watch, dad. and you have never talk about a your dad. Time.
Never met my real dad. Oh, did I tell you about the letter? Yeah, eight years old. Right, I'm eight years old, and all I wrote in the letter was, I just want you to know who I am. I like hopscotch, I like science, I like dissecting things. Here's a picture of me. I just want you to know who I am. I don't want anything back from you. You don't have to write me back. I just wanted you to know what your daughter is like. And the letter got sent back, unopened, saying, return to sender, don't write me, don't write me anymore. For a long time and in my teen years, I sought acceptance from men through dating and through having a boyfriend. I think it's sick. I'm a feminist. I think that I'm a strong person. I think that I'm independent, but at the same time, it's a little scary for me not to have a man in my life somewhere because I don't have a father. I know why I'm that way. What do I do about it? I don't know. We got invited to go out on a speedboat to a place called Palomino Island, hang out with the natives, chill, drink beer, and float the water. We're going across the ocean, hitting these waves. We're flying through the air like, and we're bouncing everywhere. I thought we were going to flip. I was like, oh my god, we're going to flip. It was scary, but it was like, it was like being alive. It was amazing. My heart is, like, beating. <laughs> <laughs> Who all wants to go on the way, brother? Only two people can go. So One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, loser! Ready, Oh, there you go. Ready, 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 <laughs> Camila's driving now, I think. Is she? Uh, uh, oh, no. She is! <laughs> Look at how slow they're going. They're not even turning. John's complaining. Go faster, dang it! Go faster. Turn, turn, turn the wheel, dang it. Go faster, dang it. Hey, Camila, can you stop? As we're sitting on the boat, I break out my video camera and I'm filming everybody in our group and hanging out. And all of a sudden, I see Montana, like, looking at me like she's going to unzip her vest and, and show me her boobies. Oh! She showed the guy! She got nipples! I did not! Dude, trust me. And it was so quick. It was honestly like, poof. <laughs> <laughs> no, you couldn't see anything. <laughs> she unzips her blouse and... We've got... Ta-da! <laughs> you can't see anything. Yes, you can. I see. I can see both of your nipples. <laughs> It just pissed me off that she was like, rewind, rewind, rewind. Oh, baby, you can see that. It's my fault. I mean, I take responsibility for it, but I should have known that, that men are going to be men, and even if they're good men, they're still men. The final night we we're going to be in Puerto Rico. Jan invited us to a meal. Do people say to you, Camila, like, oh, you got into Stanford because you're black? Because I had a yeah. friend who, I have a black friend who went to Berkeley, and people would always say to her, oh, you got in because you're black. I think no, that'd be I, so offensive to me. No, I had someone tell me I got into Stanford because of affirmative action. Like this one this white chick. She was like, oh, you got in, yeah, you know, it's that affirmative action thing. And I was like, oh, really? But were you president of your da-da-da? You right. Know? Were you valedictorian of your school? Did you win first place in California science fair? Sort of hits me in the heart when you talk about that, because I was always on the edge, whether it was college or law school. I have a strong feeling if I was gay, I would have got in, or if I was a, a, a black male. I can't really sit down and have a deep discussion with anybody in the house, so I just prefer not to share too much of myself with anybody. I don't know if it's like insecurity that makes you not want to speak. It's easier for me to be on the outside and look in than it is to be on the inside looking out. So therefore I say nothing. I think you're being far too intense, all of it. <laughs> intense. You're being too intense. We've all had a lot happen to us though, you know? Yeah, but you know, life keeps going on. Sure Just keep doing it. Thank you 
Thanks so much for everything. It was so nice. Thank you. I think the whole experience in Puerto Rico was, was very bonding for the whole group. And I think we all needed that time together. And we got it, and it was really fun. I was hoping that I'd get to be in the sun, maybe meet a couple cute Puerto Ricans, drink some rum, walk on the beach. All my expectations were met. We got a clue for a different kind of mission. The battle lines have been drawn. You're in the R world now. Let it bleed! I think they really suck. Montana, we got a big for you. Oh. See what happens when shows collide. On the real world, Road Rules Challenge. We're gonna beat you guys. Show yourselves! You wanna see their pictures? That's Francesca. That's a little girl named Francesca. So they didn't work. You don't need a map to find Austin Stories. It's coming up next, followed by a pit stop at Oddville MTV. <laughs> you got him you got Did him you there. see him jump? I showed him my tongue. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> You're killing me, Justin. <laughs>